Uh, we live? Um, uh, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue, shall we? So, on our last episode, uh, we finally got complete control over this uh, continent. Don't have to worry about biters on this planet anymore. And now we just need to continue with setting up. Um, our nuclear reactor is almost ready. I did come up with some improvement to this system for requesting a rocket with various resources. But I don't remember exactly what that improvement was. I think it was something like... Uh, request a whole lot of each resource and have the... Um, uh, no more than a hundred stacks, or I guess it could be like 125 for each of these, so that's really excessive. But we can have the amount that we're requesting very high, but we'll... We'll have it so that it's getting close to running out of any one resource before we send the rocket. And basically... A quarter of the cargo rocket is reserved for each resource. A hey, Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so, the way we've got it set up right now is we read the logistic network contents. That gives us a positive of everything we've got. We have a negative number for something that we want delivered. If it drops below... Uh, if the result of adding those two numbers together drops below some amount... Um, then we're going to request a delivery. So... I think... Um... So we're going to convert that negative number, the deficit of what we need here, into a positive. And then anything greater than zero green signal. But we're not going to send this signal through here in the first place unless the threshold gets low enough. So the layout of this is actually fine already. Um, all we have to do is play with the... Uh, uh, the amount we're requesting, and what the threshold is to trigger a delivery. Why have these furnaces stopped already? And why do I have no jetpack? Oh, that's probably got something to do with it. Yeah, it looks like it's just slow, and this side is much faster for some reason. Or is this not powered? Oh, this is like powered by one solar panel, that's why. So those should both now produce at about the same speed. A dross brain and more bell. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... If we really... want to go... full efficiency for the cargo rocket... Um, we're talking about... 125 stacks for each of these resources. But I think that is... Super overkill for a couple of these. 
Um, this stacks to 20. 2,500, that's not unreasonable. Um, I would like to make sure it takes a really long time to run out of media defense ammo if something goes wrong here. So we'll request uh, 2.5k media defense ammo. And... But we'll only trigger a delivery... If it drops down to, say, a thousand remaining. So I guess this should be negative 1.5k. And that is currently requesting. Alright, I don't want to send the rocket until, uh, until I'm sure we're ready either. Now, that should already have... Our cargo rocket, uh, is it this one? I think we're not receiving the signal here because of power problems. Yeah, okay. That's fine for now. Uh, so. Um, I think uranium fuel cells stack to 50. 6,250. That's kind of a lot. And then... Uh, let's say if we drop down to like... 2,000-ish. Then we're going to trigger a delivery. Um, cargo rocket sections. This is actually a really good opportunity to clear out uh, an obscene amount of cargo rocket sections that we've got lying around in storage here. So why don't we... It's one stack per packed cargo rocket section though, isn't it? Yep. So just 125 of those. That's actually not that different. And I guess, I don't think we have a whole lot of space capsules lying around over here. It should be like 48 at the most. But if we're going to be consistent, oh, that's not a whole lot. We limited this to one, didn't we? Let's go with... Um, it's going to take a while. We could get some space capsules delivered from outside of the Robo Network, I guess. Um, we could definitely set this up to accept smaller trains. And... Do we have some space capsules ready to be picked up already? Oh, we did. And there they go. Okay. Uh, nevertheless, I think we'll get some help from the rail network for this one. So we'll pulse in a temporary request for space capsules. Let's say a hundred. Uh, I think that should be a negative. Yes. And we're just going to pulse that into this memory cell that's going to hold onto it until we've received a hundred space capsules here. Oh! Now... 125 of those. And... I think this is fine. Don't send another rocket unless we drop below... Well, no. Instead of negative 10, it should be like negative 100... 15 to say that 
we should only have 10 left when we trigger a rocket launch. Uh, how many, wait, how many space capsules do we have here? 11. So that's actually fine. That's already working. Cool. Uh, I think we're good here now. We just need to get our power sorted out. We should also set up the uh, media defense installations. Luckily, it looks like they fit here very well. Nice. Um, I don't suppose... Looks like we'll have to use some medium power poles. I do have a few left over still. And I'll move that constant combinator over here. Just for arbitrary manual requests. That we're going to pulse into... Well, not pulse, actually. Uh, that we're going to have the cargo rocket bring us. Alright. So, let's drop our media defense. I don't love the giant cannon blocking the view of the signal transmitter, but what can you do? I guess we could move it further back this way. Um, how many... This is only nine. Okay. Um, I would kind of like to not have them stretch out all the way down here. We've got 10, have we not? Yes. Okay, so... And we're going to have roboports coming over this way because it needs to reach the nuclear power. And that just touches the pipe. That should be fine. Um... I guess we can save a power pole by doing this. And... We're really not going to need that much bot throughput to keep up with the media defense installations. So, where are my big poles? I think the construction spiders stole them all. Uh, let's see. Substations. Right then. Please give to me some big power poles. Do we actually not have any? On this whole planet? That doesn't... Oh, there we go. I was going to say that doesn't sound right. Uh, we should definitely connect... A Zentoid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Lurkin, by all means. And Whiskers. I think I already said hello to Whiskers, but the yay is appreciated. Let's head over... We're going to need a substation here anyway. Right about here. Oh, that's right. I didn't finish laying out all of the offshore pumps. So this one's going to go about here. Big power pole. And then we've got this one this one, and this one, and this one are already connected. Although, we seem to have run out of pipe. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, I think we're out of pipe. Um, we already had some... I haven't put it in the bot network yet, but we've got plenty of iron up here. So let's grab that. Uh, 
Oh, I'm already carrying it. Whoops. Uh, this is actually going to take some time. We're going to have to make a lot of... Did I not... I made one box for iron. Well, that's still a lot. Actually, there's no need to take it from here. Let's just make... Uh, some pipe right about here, I think. Iron plate and iron plate plus, plus pipe. Um, we could probably move all of these over a bit. And... That'll do. Spooters, please bring the substations. Are they going to get past the water? Maybe not. Um, we can't prod these. Let's speed them up. Although I'm sure that ratio is no good. Negative 58 pipe per second. Uh... That's a bit closer, I guess. Wait, let's see if we can do better. Um, if I move this over a bit... Wait, what am I doing? This can go here, but we've run out of blue belt as well. We have. Uh, I guess we could throw down some red belt here, that's probably sufficient. 16 per second. Second server here, perhaps. We are still struggling with power, but that'll get it, give us all of the pipes that we need quite quickly. Uh, let's have the spiders pick these up, and then see where we go. Also, we need some power for this substation. Right, so we haven't done this one yet. Let's get that out of the way. Nice and straightforward. Now we don't now we know that this whole quadrant uh, except for this one actually. I don't think there's a way to get the pipe in through here, so it's going to have to come up this way. Which means... Uh... I guess... I'm going to have to have pipe come up here. That's not quite right yet. Although it's probably okay. No, that should be fine, even if these two touch each other. But I've seen it not be okay like that before. It's affected the throughput of the water, so let's just do this. And then... We actually do need this 
pop it down here. Oh, that stretches out further than I thought. No, no it doesn't. It's this part that doesn't line up. Alright, and then... I think I'm going to have to move these lights a little bit more. If we're going to get our water up this way. Or we could just... Not do it perfectly symmetrically. Symmetrically. It's already not perfectly symmetrical. So let's do it like this. Of course, the robo port's in the way. And this one goes here. Uh, that also leaves this one. That's pretty straightforward. And we need to change this pipe over here. Might be easier to get that water from over there instead. Okay. I'm sure by the time I design all of this, the underground pipes will be finished. Uh, so, we've got this entire quadrant here. Uh, this one, I think, is finished. That's a bit weird. Let's bring that down a little bit. One, two, and we need three, four, and then this entire quarter needs water. And I think it'll be a little bit easier if we do these two from the side and these two we need four more pumps up this way. Oh, there's more water over here as well. That might make it a little bit easier. Uh, let's trace backward to see where we end up. Steal this again. And then, actually I'll do that one first, bring this back here. This one can be a little bit closer. Now we know where we want these two offshore pumps. I still haven't done this one, actually. Whoops. Let's get some undergrounds. Uh, I can't have them follow the same path. We can put these quite close together, though, actually. So we'll trace this one back here. Mm, 
No wonder I started making these offshore. Okay, substation right about here. Uh, we've connected this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Let's mirror what we did here, and then, that's weird, why doesn't this I think we need to actually deconstruct some of those. There we go. And can I move this upper tile? I think I probably should. That's wrong. Alright, and that would allow us to have this one here. And the question is just where do we put the last pump? Well, not the last pump, we need two more over this way. Uh, but we're getting there. That's a bit far away. Let's see if we can put it under the substation. It's this one. That might be a little bit tricky. No, I think it'll be fine. And then just a couple of pumps over here. Right next to this one that I didn't even notice. Nice and straightforward. And then... Alright, that should be all of it. Let's bring our... Yep, we've got no power. How many pipes did we end up with? Hundreds. Um, probably should have put a limiter here that makes sure we've got some regular pipe. Uh, greater than... 100? Might be better to have it on the same network. 200. Alright. How about is it power wise? Quite bad for now. So we've got, we don't quite have our Robo network connected yet. Um, I guess I can handcraft a bunch of regular pipe, it really doesn't take long. And I'll go fly over here myself. I think the spiders are carrying the offshore pumps at the moment. So let's get them to drop those off.
All right, are we actually done? We're not pumping anything at the moment because there's no power. Uh, is slowly going back up though. I'm seeing water. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Think we've done it. Cool. Now all that remains is uh, getting our nuclear power in place. I might just drop that off manually. Uh, let's see. We've got eight nuclear plants here. Let's get a multiple of those. And even distribution. Go. Get rid of this, which is the same as turning the whole thing on. Oh, uh, we also need to connect power over here. Oh. So we're not actually getting any power out of this just yet. Everything's still heating up. It's just these desperate little solar panels that are charging the roboports already. But yeah, that should be enough to get things going. We won't get any actual power out of the nuclear plants until uh, the heat pipes in front of at least one of these heat exchangers hits 500 degrees. And there goes the rest of our fuel. It's fine. There's plenty of storage capacity for heat in this whole system. Right then. What's next? We need to make our media defense installations. I was going to put them somewhere like here. If it's in reach of the robo network. Yeah. Nothing else in the way up here. We're going to need a requester chest. Not sure where it's gone, but this is fine. And then... For now I'll keep them out of range of... Our network. Uh, about two rows of five. And some inserters. Actually, let's put the inserters up where they can all be met by one power pole. A few power poles. There we go. And that was supposed to start over this way, wasn't it? Don't suppose we can get a medium pole to reach like that. Nope. This is fine. That's going to completely kill our power. Um, I, th I think just having one of these under this substation is going to do that, though. Oh, we are actually charging. 
Okay. Uh, so we're just waiting for nuclear to heat up, which we're currently at 430 degrees Celsius. We're also doing a lot better with the solar power for the moment. Actually, do we have any more solar? 40... oh, there's like more than 200. Thank you for the follow, uh, Chronic. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I guess let's throw down uh, some more solar panels. I really should make a version of this that doesn't emphasize accumulators so much. Or perhaps I should have just brought more accumulators. The construction spiders are actually still carrying a whole lot of them, so let's continue placing. Preferably somewhere where there's nothing that's going to be in the way of. Get them to pick up some supplies first. There goes our nuclear power. Fantastic. I'll let the accumulators charge a bit before we uh, connect the media defense installations. Alright, down we go. And I think we're almost... We're, we're getting close to done on this planet. That is a lot of solar being placed really quickly. That's gonna go too far. like we're making the batteries cry on some of these spider drums. Cool. Have we run out of accumulators yet? What well, it depends on what's left in the spiders, and it looks like the answer is yes. So, how many accumulators do we have in this network? 5,000. That's pretty good. We've also got a lot of energy storage in the form of steam, since we're going to be running off nuclear. So, should be able to tolerate the... Uh, uh, should be able to keep up with the... coronal mass ejection when it happens pretty easily. Now, we do have quite a lot of flat solar panels, kind of an obscene amount of flat solar panels that we haven't got accumulators to match here, actually. Although I don't really want to place that many more solar panels on this planet. We can pretty much leave it at that. Howdy to you too. And are we getting... Oh, we are getting nuclear power. We've just got... over a gigawatt of spare power generation at the moment. Alright. Let's connect these up. And see how long that holds. We've actually still got almost a gigawatt uh, spare power production. Nice. That's while 90% of these are charging at the same time. 
let's set our request for media defense installation ammo. Actually, I would like to make this a green chest. Um, let's turn blue into green. And the reason for that is I want the contents of this chest to still be counted uh, so that we know how much ammo is actually on this planet. So we'll set this to uh, fit as much ammo as possible. 20 times 48 is 960. And we've actually got over 700 in storage. Fantastic. Hey, Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I would like to send the mili- actually, I don't need to send the military. I'll use the navigation satellite. And just make absolutely sure we didn't miss a biter base or two, and they're starting to expand out here. I finally run out of 25 degrees C fluid. Nice. How long did that take? Seems like we got them all. Oh, I don't think... I don't think we set up fuel production yet, did we? Um, the nearest crude oil is way over here. This is going to impact the minimum size of our trim, but that's not that big a deal. Okay, let's grab our oil blueprint. You know what? I think I brought a little bit of rail here. I think I bought literally 300. Which... I don't think we can create a train stop here and get the oil back this way, but we can try. Is that going to be in the logistic network? Close enough. How much rail is this? 219, that's actually kind of perfect. Alright then. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, I kind of want the logistic network to reach where the refuel point for the train would be. We could bring it up this way, perhaps? Not really. Alright, fine. We'll have another RoboPort. Rocket part research at level 16? You mean like survivability or something? Three days? Wow. Uh, let's put this here, that's going to be in the network. This will be a requested chest. Whoops. Goes here and here. I didn't actually bring a locomotive, but we do have iron and steel. Um, and copper being produced. Uh, relatively quickly. Let's do it. So then we're going to have fuel going in here. And 
that's right, I added a really simple, small production area for liquid rocket fuel, so we don't have to do that again. We will need some water. Should I maybe do this horizontally? I think that makes a lot of sense. This robo network could easily reach down here. Let's do that. And then... I need to make sure I leave room for the tanks and pumps. Where are my pumps? Did the spiders take them? Whoops. Oh. Can you build a log ride or something? All this work and no log ride? Yeah. A log ride, you say? What would be the closest thing we could build to a log ride? And why do I have no pumps? I always carry uh, 50 of them. They're not in the logistic network. Are the spiders carrying pumps? Some of them are. Okay. Let's bring you down this way. And... Pump goes here. And... That was wrong. One, two, three. I think this is in the wrong place. No, all of these are in the wrong place. Which means that can be nice and neat down this way. Uh, we're actually going to need some substations. And then, let's see where we're going to fit this. Right about here seems fine. Wait. That's too close. Crude oil goes here. And water. I think we could just steal a little bit from one of these pipes. It should be more than sufficient. Uh, each one of these pumps can do 12... Oh, that's not powered. Uh, each one of these pumps can do 1200 per second. And each of these blocks only requires uh, 721. Max water consumption here is only 66 per second, so we can definitely just steal from one of these. So that's our water, crude oil. Uh, here is our liquid rocket fuel. I was going to say it might be a nuisance to pump it all the way back there, but no, this is totally fine. Let's use the map view. Survivability, miss cargo reduction, cargo selection refund. Yeah, the infinite ones, right? And this goes down here. Um, we're going to be automatically sending this back to Nalvis, and I don't think we're ever going to change the destination, so we don't need a, I don't think we need a storage for the, well, it wouldn't hurt to have a little storage, um, for the liquid rocket fuel, actually. And 
think we may as well do quite a bit. 100k. How much does it take to go to Nalvis? Four hundred and thirty-one thousand. Okay. What about Nervous Orbit? Almost exactly the same. It was Nervous itself that we want to target for the landing pad, though. And I don't think I actually set this up in the rail block back at home yet. But it is going to be pretty straightforward. We just need a cargo landing pad. I think I was going to do it here, actually. Let's grab our construction spiders, if we can find them. And get the leader. Head down this way. And we're just going to do a... That's right, I remember adding the cargo landing pad to the requests for one of them. Uh, we're going to need a cargo landing pad. Somewhere around here. I think... We'll put the usual layout for the stations. Um, and we'll have a long train pick up the core fragments. And use trash pickup uh, for the cargo rocket sections and uh, capsules. So I'll put this right in the middle, I think. If there is such a place. And then... can't actually see where the train's going to go yet. I'll give that a minute. A Royal PSTK. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I need some more belt again. I could swap out some of the blue belt over this way for fast belt, which is more than enough. Let's see. This is only 16 per second. 16 per second. Does that reach if it's red? Yeah, I think it does. And all of this could definitely be red belt. Except for this part, actually. That gives me a little bit of belt pack, which is all we need. Should definitely have a bit more acceleration. Forgot to pick up more metal. We need that to make a train. Let's ride the spider this time. And while we're doing that, uh, I should actually definitely make this a passive provider. Did I run out of copper for myself? No, not even close. So it's steel that we need to handcraft more of this stuff. Vavrinek, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. How's your space rail block base doing? Uh, still basically just starting it, but I am quite happy with uh, the blueprint that we've come up with. Although, considering how incredibly powerful the space manufactories are. 
I wonder if maybe I should make some smaller blocks. Although, on the other hand, a lot of the need for the size here would be that we need lots of room for input and output. Uh, for the belts, that is. Maybe. Also, we can just barely fit a little bit more than a long train here and a long train here. So if I make it much smaller, that's not really going to be that good. So we'll see. But as far as porting the old rail block uh, to space, that's gone quite well. I guess it really doesn't matter if... I mean, this is the use case where it doesn't matter if we use up extra space, right? So I suppose I should just not worry about it. Let's grab ourselves some steel. That is a lot, actually. Um, let's just stop at like a thousand for each of these. And we need one more of these. We need a bunch of iron. One, two. And then. Back to the rail block. Well, not block, actually. A fat boy not so sl Wait, where is our sound thing? Oh, there it goes. It's just slightly delayed. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Check OBS chat text overlay. It's warped on screen in bottom left. That's weird. Let's have a look. Uh, it looks okay. Test another test. Let me let me bring up the stream in a browser. And also also what? Let's put our train down. Okay. Don't see anything at all. Oh, it's all squished. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, can I just stretch it out a bit? Is that going to be? Bit better. That looks better. Well, that was easy. Does the job. Thanks for pointing that out. Are space trains faster in space? Uh, I don't. Not that I know of. I don't think so. Thanks, for that boy. So anyway, hi, hi. A space trains faster. I haven't actually tried them yet. I thought it was actually just... I thought you just put regular trains onto space rail. Locomotive? Yeah. So it would depend on the fuel and not the fact that it's in space. I was hoping for zero-g acceleration. It would be cool if you could... Uh, it would be cool if you could launch them across rail gaps with just the momentum. Theoretically, you could have a giant space rail around the planet and fling yourself to the moon. You might want to have a few little baby thrusters on the thing to make corrections. All right, let's drop our pump jacks. And then... 
be this. Put the train station down first. Bring it a little closer. We definitely don't need LTN trains for this particular rail network. Alright, so which side should this be on? I think I like this better. And then... Uh, these can just go straight in here. That's going to look a little bit neater, I think. And... That's some kind of gratuitous undergrounds, actually. Also, that one's not quite right. Cool. Add some power. Probably, well, if we had some accumulators, it would definitely be enough to put nothing but solar here. But considering what we're going to need overall in terms of oil, I think this is fine, actually. Solar. I mean, that's ridiculously overkill, but whatever. In fact, no, that is, that is too overkill. What's the total power that we need here, theoretically? Ignore the pumps, I think. Um... 90 kilowatts times 10, 900. Uh, we do actually... We do actually need like 9 of these um, for it to go full speed during the day. So, let's... I wonder if I can just squeeze that under a substation that we've already got. That seems good. Actually, it's not quite reaching. Sad. Right then. In any case, we'll reach 100k here relatively quickly. Where did my fluid wagons go? And give it... Why do I only have one locomotive? Did I put it back here? No? I did handcraft it, didn't I? Did I not? Hundred and seventy iron plate overall. Uh I think that in that doesn't include the steel, does it? Yeah, I might have actually run out. Alright, let's go grab some more. Go around the water. It's not done. It's still making it. Oh wow. That is taking its sweet time. Fair enough. 
thanks for pointing that out. And then I would have wondered how... <laughs> and then I would have wondered how I ended up with another one. Okay. Uh, before that is finished... That was a little bit loud. I don't know if you could hear that. Bit of thunder here. Uh, let's swap this out for a regular train stop. Don't need any signals. This feels almost nostalgic. It's like baby's first train. Let's just call you oil drop off. And oil provider. And there's our locomotive. Right back in style. those two pump jacks on the bottom. Oh, true. That one's easy enough, but this one I totally missed. Uh, jump out. How about we put this somewhere else? And this goes here. Grab some fishies while we're here. And there's our locomotive as well. Alright, so... This can fit 200k. So we'll say when this is half full. Uh, we'll have this train stop active. Actually, train limit is better, but it would need a combinator. Or we could put a signal here to block it if there's not enough. I'm just, it, it's an easy problem to solve. I'm just thinking about what is the absolute minimum way to do it. But I think since we've literally just got one train going back and forth, enable disable is going to be fine. So we'll say crude oil is less than, sorry, greater than uh, 12,500. There should be, if the oil flowed out across these perfectly evenly, this being half full would indicate that there's definitely 100k crude oil here. And then this one. Uh, enable disable. Crude oil less than 100,000. Easy enough. Let's add some conditions. Pick up, drop off, full cargo, empty cargo. I suppose because of the way we're going to be filling the fluid wagons, we don't actually need any conditions on the train stops in this case. We're just going to stay here until full and go to the other station until empty.
Although, for now, I think it's fine if we get some oil started. Yes, absolutely. Alright. Let me just put this thing... I was going to leave the train there, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, we need to get some of this... Uh, solid fuel... to be delivered to the train. That's actually surprisingly inconvenient with the power that we've already got laid out here. Does this go here? That's good. Alright, we need a, uh, some sort of passive provider should be fine. I don't know where the passive providers have gone, but um, but they should be in the network somewhere, question mark? Or maybe the spiders have them. Yeah, they do. Alright, spooters over this way, please. And the logistic bots will take care of... Uh, putting the rocket fuel here. Oh. I need to actually set a request for this first. That'll do it. And once our spiders get here, I think that is everything fully automated. And we've already got our liquid rocket fuel going as well. Which means we should have it... Oh. Uh, we... Should have it going into our rocket, but I didn't build these pipes yet. Not that it'll make a difference overall. Three one thousand, fantastic. And all that's left now is. Uh, let's see. We've got the auto supply for nuclear fuel for the media defenses. Don't worry that this says there's no fuel. It's supposed to do that. We actually do have plenty of fuel. We've got the liquid rocket fuel slowly filling up uh, to get back home. We've got our supply line for food oil. I think all that's left to do here is get the core mining started. And the spiders are carrying all the substations, except for these ones, actually. I haven't actually put uh, left a good place for power poles here. I do have mediums. I've only got 10 express undergrounds, so it might be enough. Wait, how much is this going to get us again? 40 per second, that's really quite good. A red belt would be insufficient. Um, I should really remember to bring more belts on these excursions. Okay. I don't suppose... I don't think our spiders are carrying any belt right now. 
No, they're not. If I do... Let's just cut this for a second. So that we can easily put it back. And if we put medium poles coming down here as close as possible. Uh, where even is that going to connect? I have to go here, here. It doesn't quite reach to make a consistent pattern. Unless we do two medium poles between each drill. We've only got ten express undergrounds. Now, I think I would rather just uh, put some big poles on either side. That's actually all it takes. Alright, cool. Why are we not... Oh, right. I need to tell it how charged the accumulators are. Um, I don't think this is going to reach. Nope. So... I'm going to have to add another...